like I do, like if you're in the growing out stage, this is when you can really harness teasing. I'm going to show you the way that I've kind of learned works best for me when it comes to teasing. Instead of just really ratting out that section, I, I have started to develop a very deliberate teasing process because otherwise my teasing just doesn't hold up. It has to be done in a very specific way for my fine hair to take to teasing, I've noticed. So I'm going to start with this section. I've just pulled up a back section because I want to have some volume here. I, wrong product, spray it with a little dry shampoo. And then I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to push all the way through. Not just at the right root or at the base, but I'm going to push. Try to get this area separate. Okay. I'm going to push my comb all the way through and pull down one time. And then I'm going to take my comb and put it right at the top of where I just teased and pull down two times. And then I'm going to take my comb and push through and pull right to the top of the area I just teased and pull down. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I have no hair left in my hand. <laughs> so very deliberate motions. Do you see? This just seems to work out best for me when it comes to teasing. Okay, I'm going to do it with this section. This might be a little easier to see. I'm going to spray the boot right base, let it dry for a second. And then I'm going to do, push my comb all the way through and do one. Push my comb all the way through and do two. Three. Four. In this section, you've got to be a little more careful because you want, don't want it to look too messy right here. So wherever you start seeing it getting ratty, that's where you put your comb in. So instead of starting down here and just kind of keeping on working at this section, I'm going up the entire. And this deliberate teasing technique seems to work a little better for me. See? <laughs> okay, and now the next step is just to take my brush and just brush over the top section. fifties, late 1950s, 60s volume without having to worry about your bangs showing through. So hopefully that helped you. I know that I've had a few uh, a few tutorials or a few requests for tutorials on teasing and things like that. Teasing is not something I do a lot of. I typically don't really tease unless I'm doing the base of a roll. I don't usually tease my hair for a lot of volume this way because it's not the way I choose to wear it. But I know a lot of you girls love this big hair, so this is just an example of what you can do showing that you can absolutely blend bangs and um, you don't have to, please don't be limited by thinking that you can only wear one certain style if you have Betty bangs, because it's absolutely not true. And I hope that this helped you. In the meantime, uh, just make sure and stay tuned because we'll have a lot more videos coming up. I've got a lot of fashion videos coming up. I've got a lot of requests to handle. So just bear with me and I'll get around to them. Bye. And I didn't show you the back. No, it's the back. Just make sure when you're doing it that when you look around, you've got 
pretty good. You know, no exam, no uh, no rattiness showing through on the top. So anyway, hope that helps. <laughs>